Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to show you how to get the DualShock 3 controller working on the Mac. So if you know anything about Mac OS Monterey, you'll know that basically Apple have removed the DualShock 3 and 6 axis drivers from Mac OS. So there's actually no drivers for this particular controller anymore, even though this worked fine on Big Sur and previous versions of Mac OS. And basically you want to be able to make use of your DualShock 3 controller and today I'm going to show you how to do that. So unfortunately this fix is not going to allow us to connect this wire wirelessly via Bluetooth. However, we can use a wired method. So today I'm going to teach you how to do that and get it working with games on Mac OS Monterey and also on M1 Apple Silicon Macs as well. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It just takes a moment to do and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So the very first thing that we're going to need is the cabling for this particular controller. So this is a mini USB cable. And what I've got here is a mini USB end and we're going to be plugging this into the controller here in order to get this to work. So we don't have wireless, but we do have wired capability. So the other thing is that most mini USB cables are quite old, so they only have the USB-A end on the side. So it's going to be hard to find a USB-C cable which does this. So you're going to need an adapter of some kind. I recommend these ones, the Alien ones. I'll leave a link to these in the description. These are really cheap as well. You can buy them in three pack. And basically what you do is you plug these two together and now it's adapted to USB-C. So that's converted USB-A to USB-C. And what we're going to do is to plug this into the USB-C port of my MacBook Air 2020 with the M1 chip. So once that's plugged in, you'll see that these lights start to flash. So we're going to be using a specific tool, which I'll leave a link to in the description. This is a tool written by Reddit user vit9696. And what I'm going to do is to leave a link to this particular comment thread in the description. So this person has written a tool which is going to fix this wired issue. So I'm going to download the link that they've put in their comment. And this has taken us to a GitHub page where they've left a comment. And if we scroll down at the bottom of this comment, we have this file called ds3activate.zip. So we're going to go ahead and download this. And now that's gone into our download folder. So now we're going to open up Finder and we go to Downloads and then we have the DS3 Activate already decompressed by Safari or if you have a zip you just double click and it's going to open up this folder. We're going to double click on here and then we have this script here. So all we need to do here is to double click on DS3 Activate and we're going to press Open here. And you can see the controller has started to shake. And now this is now a working controller. So now I'm going to load up a game. So not every game is going to work, but a lot of games will. I'm going to load up Towerfall Ascension and press play. So here I'm going to press start and that's working. So anyway, I can jump around the level and this game is functioning correctly. So this is all working. And this means that we can get this particular controller working. I know that it's not a wireless connection. However, it is functioning and it is making use of all the controllers. If you can use a DualShock 4 controller or DualSense controller, then that's going to offer much better compatibility in the long run. So the main caveat with this method is that every time we disconnect the cable and then plug it back in, then we're going to have to run that script again. Otherwise, this is not going to work anymore. However, if I close this, I find the script again, double click. Once that starts rumbling again, then this controller is starting to work in the game. So just keep that script in a handy place and you'll always be able to get it to work. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other Mac gaming tutorials on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you find the video useful, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.